Hey everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> little ramble today, it's a Sunday. Reasonably beautiful out right now as you can see. You can also see it, uh, maybe you can't. It was cloudy earlier, raining a bunch this morning. Thought I'd share with you guys the beautiful view I got out of the top of my village. So my village is on one hill and this hill back over here is on the other side of the valley essentially. We got a main road going through the valley. So this is the village in which I live. And we're gonna just keep walking and talking. So, uh, just thought I'd go on a bit of a ramble while I'm on a walk today. A little bit sore and tight from uh, really cranking it pretty hard on the bike the other day. So I figured I'd do a little walk, stretch the muscles. It's good for you, you know. I am uh, still wearing the Zenith on the blue. Put that back on today because I'm not in work. So I'm just back to a dressier watch. My day's off. Probably backwards watches where their dressiest watches for work and their sportier ones off of work but I'm the other way around anyways I was just thinking about a few things and thought I'd make a video talking about them before I finish up um, some schoolwork and homework and uh, stay busy the rest of the weekend so uh, car parking right in the middle of the sidewalk I'm gonna pause it for a second all right we're back just loud car parking and driving off again. So, um, yeah, no, I was a little sore from my bike ride, I'm from my walk, got homework coming up, a lot of things going on in life right now. It's a little crazy. Um, found out about when I'm moving, so I knew I'd be moving this fall, probably right around the end of September. I'm gonna be leaving Germany, take a couple of weeks, uh, maybe visit. You know, my parents back home in Chicago, and then I will be moving uh, in October to New Mexico. So it'll be my first time living out in the American Southwest and really uh, experiencing that part of the country. And I'm sure it's going to feel like being in a completely different country completely, but uh, kind of exciting. Have uh, some mountains and really outdoorsy stuff to do, which should be great. And uh, give me a first time really living in a small town experience, or small or small to me. So that should be interesting. Um, should provide some good outdoor uh, activities, which I'm excited about. Uh, I've been commuting my bike here in Germany, and I probably won't be doing that much there, but I, actually it's got me motivated to get back into um, cycling otherwise. And I found a local club racing team down there, and I'm thinking about getting back into some amateur uh, cycling competition and uh, racing again. So that should be really fun as well, which may necessitate or at least fill a big want of wanting to buy a new bicycle. So who knows, maybe I'll be doing that this fall or this winter as well. So that could be exciting as well. Yeah, good new gadgets and stuff are always fun. So uh, yeah, moving is always interesting. Um, I actually thought of this from TGV, one of his, uh, some of his videos where he mentioned all the different places he's lived. And I, I really, it got me thinking about you know the number of places I've lived recently and uh, how I've kind of, I, I miss something from everywhere I, li I live and have to leave. Uh, I've lived in England uh, near Cambridge. And there are things I really miss about England. Uh, I spent a year living in Korea. There's less I miss from living in Korea, but there are still some things that were really fun uh, living in Korea as well. And I've been living in Germany. And uh, there are things I'll be happy about being back in the States, but there's going to be things I miss from Germany as well. And obviously, I grew up in Chicago. When I left Chicago, I missed plenty of stuff from Chicago, uh, one of my favorite cities in the world, along with London. Um, so, you know, there's things you miss from everywhere, but it's great getting to experience all these different places. Um, and the uh, New Mexico, the American Southwest, is definitely going to be um, a completely new experience for me, something completely different than I've ever had before. So that is exciting to me. Like those different experiences. And if you ever get the chance, this is why I'm talking about this really, I guess, is that if you ever get the chance to do these different and new things, uh, do so. Uh, hop, hop for an opportunity to live someplace new or different. If it's a job opportunity comes up or something like that, um, part of the fun in life and what really gives us, this, I think, a better worldly understanding of both ourselves and the rest of the world is experiencing all of these different places. I think that's really valuable and something you can't get out of school or um, 
any sort of education. It's just something you get by experiencing. And uh, I, I'm totally an advocate of getting out and seeing and experiencing the world. Uh, I've lived now in four different countries, if you count home in the United States. And I've traveled to, you know, uh, somewhere between t 10 and 20 other countries now um, for varying lengths of time. And uh, that's experience that is just so valuable and I feel like has really given me a, a great perspective for life. So, um, if you get the chance, definitely, definitely go for it. Uh, what else is going on with life right now? My Sunday ramble. I'm getting on uh, with that. I guess not a lot, really. Uh, I'm still working and paring down my collection. I've had a couple pieces that I've had uh, struggle being willing to part with. But I think I finally got there. So, um, might be listing those up for sale in the near future. And then I'll have it really pared down to just the select few that I'm looking for, um, really. Um, I have a 20 slot watch box. And uh, with the final culling, if you will, and the final pieces that I've gotten myself to get rid of, I think I'll finally have gotten down to. Um, being only in that top section with 10 slots. Everything should fit in there, and I'll feel good about that. Uh, so, I think that's interesting. But as, as many of you probably know, you know, you get down to, from 20 to 30 watches, you get down to, you know, maybe six or seven main watches, and you have a few others of sentimental value or that you just haven't necessarily wanted to part with, and getting to the point where you actually part with them can be a little difficult at times. Um, but I'm there now with a couple, so that is good. And that'll give me more leeway going forward to pick and choose what I want to do. So I guess that's pretty much it right now. Uh, what's coming up? Um, I'm gonna be doing a quick review of the Steinhardt Pilot Watch next. I also will have a review after that, the comparison review of the first version and second version of the Christopher Ward Trident series. And then also coming up, I'm going to have a review. Um, there is a company that created uh, this new belt. Uh, at the, I know that sounds kind of boring, but actually really interesting. So I'm going to be doing, they sent me a sample. I'm going to do a review of that product uh, on the channel as well. And I thought that was really interesting. So uh, thanks to them for sending out a sample. And I will be, uh, you know, putting all the pertinent information um, in their review on that product as well. Um, I think that's pertinent to the channel, uh, just, you know, general style, watches, uh, life experiences, etc. It fits in with what we're doing. And uh, kind of after that, whatever else comes to mind, I have a whole list, but I kind of just uh, do it as it makes the most sense to me. Um, and then I might have a couple viewer uh, email or request um, video or two coming up in the new, somewhat near future, possibly. Um, depends if I get a couple more in or not. So if you do have anything you would like me to talk, talk about or any other uh, requests you'd like to send in, uh, do so. Send me the email that's in the description section. And uh, I will add those in. And every time I get two or three, I'll make a video. And uh, yeah, that's probably about it for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time.